All new right now, for the first time, we are seeing more of the evidence the government used to convict Corrine Brown. It includes party pictures showing a band and a $750 birthday cake for Brown's daughter. All paid for, investigators said, with donated money meant for needy children. We first showed you these pictures of Brown depositing cash into her account last night on News 4 Jacks. The I-team, Lindsay Gardner, is working her way through the new evidence we obtained today. Lindsay? Well, Tom, this small disc from the United States government accomplished a very big task. On it, evidence that took down a sitting congresswoman at the time of her indictment. It took years of meticulous work by the FBI and the Department of Justice to build their case against Brown. And tonight we can show you some of the smoking guns. Here is the infamous $750 birthday cake for Corrine Brown's daughter Chantrell mentioned at her federal corruption trial. Yes, that's also Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, former chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee at the event, thrown to honor Brown. The cake, the food, the booze, and the band all paid for with donated money to the bogus nonprofit, the One Door for Education, year after year. The tabs range from forty to fifty thousand dollars annually. The government argued it was no reception with needy children in mind. It was a party for Brown that represented the excess her circle came to expect. And perhaps the most telling, Brown and her daughter smiling here in front of this banner, showing one door, her congressional seal, and her famous catchphrase, Corrine delivers. Further evidence that Brown knew all three were intertwined. Another year, another cake, and the same expensive party with no scholarships handed out. Here is Brown with another felon, the former charities director, Carla Wiley. She was the first to go down and will be sentenced next month. On the other side, Monica Simmons Isom, a Duval County Elementary School teacher and the sister of another convicted felon in the scheme, Brown's former chief of staff, Ronnie Simmons. These are pictures of Simmons withdrawing and depositing money from the slush fund to Brown's personal account. And here are more photos of Brown herself and all that cash. Cash that was hard for the government to trace, but enough to throw red flags. That Beyonce concert, one door money also paid for? Here's the flyer. And this office furniture to Edward Waters College that Brown claimed that she donated. But a witness testified it was there long before Brown tried to write it off on her taxes. Evidence the jury looked at and then decided unanimously the party was over for Corrine Brown. Also included letters from City Councilman Reggie Gaffney's nonprofit, the Community Rehabilitation Center. The government argued this is evidence of Brown's tax fraud charges because CRC was giving her these letters to say that she had claimed uh, that she could claim off of her taxes for donations to the charity, one of them being $10,000 in her donated time for lobbying on Capitol Hill on their behalf for the nonprofit. Her CPA wrote above on one of these letters that time is not a valid deduction. Reggie Gaffney has not been charged with any crimes. Mary.